we were pleased to visit the fantastic St. David's Cathedral, set in the heart of St. David's itself. And it's quite a breathtaking view when you come down the hill and down the steps to see the cathedral itself. Local legend and folklore claim that the devil himself and St. David were having a big battle. And on the corner of one of the gravestones, next to the cathedral itself, is said to be the devil's footsteps. Now I managed to locate these. Fortunately, my feet didn't fit. St. David's is one of the great historic shrines of Christendom. Nowhere in Britain is there a more ancient cathedral settlement, for it reaches back 14 centuries and survived the plunder of Norsemen in the Dark Ages. St. David chose this wild, beautiful region as the site of his monastery in the sixth century and you'll find his shrine in the purple stoned cathedral which nestles in a grassy hollow beneath the rooftops of the tiny city. The 15 foot high close wall built in the 14th century enclosed the original cathedral city. The wall was pierced by four gatehouses. The tower gatehouse is the only survivor and it was used by the medieval town council. Also housed in the tower gatehouse is the lapidarium where there's also a display of religious stones and below is the bishop's dungeon. Next to the gatehouse stands the 13th century bell tower, which now has a royal ring of 10 bells. The gatehouse contains an exhibition designed to introduce the pilgrim or visitor to the history and life of the cathedral today, including its daily worship. There's information about St. David himself, about his pilgrimage to St. David's, Two trips to St. David's was equal to one to Rome itself and the importance of St. David's. In medieval times, St. David's occupied a strategic position at the junction of major land and sea routes between England, Wales and Ireland. And therefore, the monarch took an interest in St. David's, with William the Conqueror visiting in 1081. The last phase covering the last two centuries has been a time of renewal and rebuilding accumulating in the restoration of the gatehouse and the recreation of the medieval cloisters. Also housed in the gatehouse is a medieval bell and the Abraham stone, which is the gravestone of Head and Isaac, sons of Bishop Abraham, killed by the Vikings in 1080. The decoration reveals a blend of insular, Celtic and intrusive styles. Amongst other items on display is the carving from above the door of the West Front designed by Nash. The Cathedral Treasury provides a safe home for treasures which tell the story of Christian worship and scholarship and St. David's that began 1500 years ago and which continue to the present day. The library has collections belonging to deans, bishops, clergy dating back to the 16th century Books and other materials are constantly being added to the collection. The library also holds a collection of local and cathedral photographs dating back to the 19th century and the parish registers. Access to the library costs an additional pound. All in all, this was a fantastic trip. We learnt a lot more about St David's and the cathedral itself and the history of the surrounding area. It's definitely worth a visit.